So as you know, I'm constantly looking for ways to make things smaller, more lightweight and portable for traveling, and I'm obsessed with it. So I wanna share with you my session for this video is uh, speed rings for the AD200. Uh, I, I obviously you saw a big epic video I just did on all the different modifiers that you can use with this. What most people do is they use a S bracket. So they can put Bowen's mount speed rings on there. What they don't think about is that, okay, here's a typical Bowen's mount uh, speed ring. This weighs 14 ounces, but that's not the whole, whole, it's big and it's clunky and it weighs a lot, but that's not the whole amount of weight. The speed ring, by the way, is what goes on the back of, the, of a softbox. It's this big thing. It's the biggest, heaviest part of a softbox. But then, not only do you have this, but you have to add the speed, uh, the, the S bracket. This thing weighs uh, almost a pound. So you gotta put these two together. This is, big giant mess is what goes on to this. And that's why, why I don't use Bowen's mount S bracket things. You've got over two pounds of big clunky hardware here that goes onto the that that is ridiculous that is not a portable flash anymore so this is what i definitely don't want to use and so this is a typical uh speed ring it weighs 14 ounces um so what i did is i took this is the same ring i took the bones mount thing off and put on the photo diox adapter which then goes right onto the 8200 so that's good. I mean, if you want to have a traditional speed ring that you put your rods into, and that took, takes the weight down from two pounds down to 12.3 ounces. That's a good start right there. Now the next step is this thing here, which is the uh, speed ring that goes with the uh, Grand Box Pro. This thing with the photo diox adapter, because this is all aluminum, is only 9.6 ounces. So this goes from 12.3 to 9.6. So that's pretty good. That's a good start right there. But it's still kind of big and clunky. But anyway, so the next step from there is the Glow Parapop um, speed ring. This thing has 12 connectors, <laughs> so it's ready for anything that you want to stick in here. And it comes with the, the, um, the um, what do you call it, speed light thing, which I took off and I put on the the um, quantum connector onto that and I ended up with this. So now we have a quant uh, basically an AD200 connector. I don't need 12 of these things. So what I did, you know, I like to use things with four rods because it's less work and it's less weight and less hassle. So what I did is I took this thing apart and like a watchmaker, I took the little springs out and all the little gadgets and all the little things that make this what it is. And I went from 12 down to four. And so I dipped this thing, this thing by the way, weighs 10.2 ounces. So this is actually less than this one. It's still, even with all these things, it's 10.2 ounces. But I got that by taking eight of them out and down to four. I got this down to 8.5 ounces. So I went from 10.2 to 8.5. But wait, I can go even more. This is even better. So you know this thing right here that I got all excited about, which is plastic. Uh, it has four things that you dial in, and it's made for round lights. This thing only weighs 4.8 ounces, and it's really good. And it has four holes for rods, so you can put anything with four rods in there. But I want to use it for an 8200, which is square. It's not round. So what I did is it's got a little nut on the end of here that comes off. So what I did is I took this nut and I glued a washer onto the nut, screwed it back on, and I got this. So now I have four flat surfaces, nice big flat surfaces, that now I can put something square or rectangular in here now, and that would be the AD200. Okay, so here I have the AD200 firmly attached to this thing. You can see the square parts attached nicely to the flat surface areas of the AD200. I spray painted the front of, the front of this thing silver so it can help uh, reflect light better uh, in the softbox. But now I have something for any softbox that has four pins to go onto an AD200. And this is the most lightweight speed ring of all. Some people might mention this thing here by Angler. It has the, uh, uh, um, the quantum mount already attached to a standard speed ring, but this thing is huge. It's heavy, it's actually pretty heavy and clunky. This thing here is 12.6 uh, ounces. So compare that to five ounces <laughs> or, um, or even uh, this one here. 
which is eight ounces. So I do not suggest this one here, even though it has the, uh, uh, the quantum mount, but I don't even like these things where you put pins into. If I only had to choose one softbox, that goes with the AD200. It wouldn't be something that you manually stick pin uh, rods into. It'd be something that you could just attach instantly to the front connector of the AD200 with the quantum mount, and that would be the Quantum QF35. This would be my one choice if I could only choose one, because look how easy this is. You just push it in and Screw it and it's ready to go. You put it on here, bam, you're done. I mean, it's that easy. You don't have to attach any of these clunky speed rings. It just goes right onto the quantum mount of the bulb. And uh, this thing is awesome. And it's 23 inches, so it's even bigger than the Godox 17 inch ADS7, I believe it is. So yeah, and then to break it down, you just turn the knob and you're ready to go. This is the Quantum QF35. Um, I still have them out there. Anyway, so that's my uh, obsession with smaller, more lightweight, easily portable softbox stuff that you can attach to an AD200. Constantly working on this. I like tinkering and I like sharing with you. And I know guys are into tinkering and, you know, stuff like that though too. So maybe you will enjoy me sharing this with you. But I mean, look at, look at the difference between the standard Bowens speed ring softbox with a standard S bracket. These two together, you gotta consider both of these added, the weight of both of those added to this little thing. It's not a portable flash anymore. This is over two pounds. Not, you don't wanna take all this heavy weight when you're hiking or going on a trip and they weigh the luggage and all that. I mean, anything like this is just so much easier, but especially this. This is, this is the whole softbox right here. No speed rings or anything. Anyway, I hope this helped. Maybe got you thinking. Uh, see you next video. Bye.